Hey everyone, good morning and happy Friday. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. Today I'm going to do a bookshelf tour. I'm gonna to go over the books that I have read that I recommend and I'm gonna mention um, something that I'm currently reading, okay? Um, now I have transferred my love of reading into Audible, um, which is like an Amazon service where you could listen to books. Um, so there are um, obviously going to be a few recommendations that I have that I actually don't have the physical book behind me that I have in, on Audible, okay? Um, but we're still going to discuss it. I'm going to talk about my recommendations and um, why I recommend them, what the book's about, and I have the links, well, not down below, up above for you. Um, so if you want to um, grab the book, they are affiliate links, but that doesn't cost you anything, okay? Um, so guys, good morning. Um, oh, thanks. Yeah, I just put a little eyeshadow, so thank you for noticing, Mickey. Um, so anyway, um, I, I rolled out of bed this morning, and I thought to myself, what am I going to talk about? Today's Friday. I want it to be fun. I want it to be, I, I don't know, I want it to be different. Um, and I said, you know what? Um, yesterday I created a blog and I talked about how I ordered a book that's coming soon. I'm so excited. And I thought about that book this morning because it's still on its way. I actually ordered a hard copy of this book and I, um, I said, you know what? I want to talk about my book. I want to talk about books. <laughs> I know a lot of us have, um, have a love of books. We have, um, you know, a lot of us like to read. So I figured what a great Facebook live topic. I probably haven't talked about my book recommendations for quite a long time. So it's just fitting that I talk about them now. Again, don't jump to them right now, but the books I'm going to talk about during this Facebook live, I linked up above. So you don't have to worry about, oh, what did she say again? Because that always happens. What did she say? What was the book name? And it can just kind of, you know, it kind of slows me down and it also slows you down because you just want to know what the book is, right? Um, so I'm excited to talk, talk chatting about it because um, I, uh, I don't know, I really, I love books. I love books. Good morning, everyone. Michelle, have you decided when you're going to talk about your sister? That sounds really odd, right? If anybody reads Michelle's comment and has no idea what the hell she's talking about, because it sounds just very odd. Um, my sister, um, she she's um, she's a seller like us, and she um, I taught her everything she knew pretty much. Uh, Michelle, you told me about this a few days ago. What was your – if you could remind me, um, because I do. I want to talk about her next week because um, the trip has been rescheduled to Monday, so I won't be on Facebook Live Monday because the trip actually is going to happen there where I'm going to go to her meeting. But what was your exact request, Michelle? Um, you want to know – what did you want to know exactly how – what I taught her or how does she get to where she is? What was it exactly? Because the way you phrased it, I um, absolutely loved it. And I was like, yes, I'll talk about it. But I want to wait until I, until we finished her um, very important retail meeting, which is Monday. So then I'll be back on Tuesday probably discussing it. Okay. Um, I may discuss it here on Facebook Live or I may discuss it on a, a vlog. Okay. Hey, Michelle, love the brows and eye makeup today. Thanks. <laughs> Put a little effort in, and then I get all these compliments. I love it. Um, I thought it was you, Michelle. I just saw the comments. One person wants to know how her success happened so quickly. If the person's on the call right now, please um, feel free to um, to comment. But it was something of that sort, right? Like how I helped her get started and things like that. I love books. Yay, bookshelf tour. I love books too. Um, I want to know about your sister. Oh, it was Erica. Duh. How did I forget that? And how she suddenly be, how she suddenly seems to have such a booming wholesale business. Um, let me actually take a picture of that. That comment so I don't forget it. Okay, so got it. So um, yes, that is going to happen next week after the um, after her meeting. Um, it's probably gonna either happen in a Facebook Live or a vlog, so stay tuned. Sorry, I'm just trying to fix myself. All right, let's get started with the bookshelf tour, okay? I have plenty of books. I'm not going to go over all of them. Um, I am going to go over some of my favorites. Um, now, some of my favorites did not make the list due to me having very little time to get ready for this Facebook Live. I'm trying to get ready. So I just listed the few that I can immediately think of. And there are some, well, not on this list that I listed above for you, but there are some personal recommendations that I have. Um, like books that are not business related ish. It's personal, 
um, that I'd still be happy toward the end of this Facebook Live, I will still um, mention it because we're all people, we all live personal lives, right? So it's not just about business and you may be interested in what or what I have read, okay? So again, I have some of these books behind me, so let me grab them um, and start talking about them. All right, so first, again, I have the links above for you. So um, of course, I'm gonna show you the book anyway, right here. And um, I'm going in order of the list. So the first one is You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. Okay. This is a book I recommended for you guys. Um, I'm, I'm going to say over six months ago, maybe a year. I'm not really, I don't remember. A lot of people have purchased it. A lot of people had great things to say about it. I, I, so I will tell you this. I will tell you that if you, first of all, if you have a closed mind, I know that sounds weird. Like who would, who would admit to that? But if you have a closed mind, don't read this book. You'll just probably just hate me, okay? Um, I I think in order to read this book and gain any gain any benefit from it, you have to have an open mind. You have to believe. I know this sounds woohoo, right? But listen, you have to believe that quite a few things are possible, and they absolutely are, okay? You gotta have faith. Um, <laughs> and I really recommend this book because, well, here's the subtitle, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. And you might say, really, if somebody could bottle this into a book, then, then you know, you know, she'd be rich and famous. Well, she is. I mean, she's a New York Times bestseller. And, and usually that's not usually the best indicator that a book is really helpful. I'm not saying that. Um, there's other reasons why sometimes people get the New York bestseller title. Obviously, they are a bestseller, but there's other reasons how they got it. Um, but I truly believe there are things I gained from this book um, that will benefit me. This book was, I don't know what the price is, a few bucks, like maybe 10 bucks at the most. Um, and I, I believe I gained much more, you know, if you're going to put a dollar amount to it, um, and benefit from this book. It, um it helps you realize, not just realize, give me a second. It helps you realize you're capable of so much more. It helps you realize that your mind is the one that is, your, you know, your mind, your, your old beliefs is stopping you from greatness um, and all that stuff. Now, a lot of people don't believe in, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of people don't believe in, you know, sending out a signal to the universe and then the universe responds back. OK, so don't get mad. OK, because it's for me, it's not about that. Regardless, of I believe in that or not. No, I, I, I don't believe I send a signal to the universe um, per se. I believe I, take, I, I believe uh, me personally, I believe in God, you know, and and here's the thing. Regardless, there are some really, really. Um, valid points in here that don't even relate to the universe or God per se, because she does refer to God or the universe, depending on your faith. Um, but it's about um, when you decide to open up your mind and understand how things could possibly happen, you start to see the opportunities instead of missing them. It, it's, it's, it's not complicated, but it's a little bit more complicated than what I'm articulating here. Um, oh, Michelle's reading that right now. Love that. Oh yeah, I'm paying for Audible and I've been I haven't been listening to anything. I need one that may help me manage my time and motivate me. By the way, guys, if you just hang tight, I'm going to make some quick book recommendations. Then I'm going to make some that is not on this list that you have not heard of yet. I know that sounds like, ooh, tell us. It's, it's, um, I haven't talked about books for a while, so there will be books that you have not heard of yet. Um, that um like michelle says i need a book that helps me with time management i have a couple of other recommendations that i'll be reading as well so bear with me okay i'll mention it toward the end okay terry says i loved you are a badass good info and lots of laughs absolutely i got it on audible yes heather it is on audible um you know the reason why i get up by the way i love i love a good book i just i love it i love books i love it the day that i um I had a day that I had a really bad day. Actually, I actually had a few days that was a really bad day. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd know this. And 
my husband's like, what would it take to make you happy? Like, tell me, we'll, we'll make it happen. So I start listing things that I, that I want to do to make me happy. One of those things was go to a bookstore. I did not go to a bookstore due to timing, but I really thought, wow, that's, I knew it was media would really make me happy. I love books. I love hard copy books. However, I started to use Audible. I have Audible on my phone. It's an app um, from uh, Amazon. Okay. Is it loading? Oh, my, my book is loading. My bad. Don't load. There's that little uh, symbol right there, the orange one. Okay. And um, it's just, it's awesome. It's awesome. You get credits each month. You could do uh, a plan that gives you two credits a month. If you're reading like a wild woman or a wild man, I tend to read often or listen often because I go for my walks. Yes, sure, not always do I listen on my walks. I do other things such as watch YouTubers and things like that. But nonetheless, I get to read a lot of books. Let's move on. I highly recommend this book. A lot of people, um, a lot of people who um, got this book, members, absolutely loved it. So I think this is like a member's favorite, okay? Highly recommend this. Um, Hillary says, can you change the audible reading voice? The man puts me to sleep. No. Um, now just for the record, Hillary's referring to certain people that read. This one is read by the author. I absolutely love when the authors read it. There is one that I can't get with, like I can't get in tune with because of the, the voice person is not bores me. However, I happen to have the hard copy. So, and I want to reread it as so well. I want to get the audible, but I was not about that life. I was like, no, it bored me. So you can make recommendations, but no, you'll have to get the hard copy then if you really can't stand the voice person. All right, so book number one recommended. All right, let's get into the second book. Where did it go? Ah. Now, forgive me, guys. I have kids, so they at one point when they were younger attacked my bookshelf and they got rid of all my like paper jackets you know the cover that go over here um i love a hardcover book but um <clears throat> they got rid of my paper jackets this one is a second on the list so the link above the second on the list hug your customers okay by jack mitchell this guy happens to be a retail store owner their store is in New Jersey, and actually, I think they actually expanded. They have a few more. Um, so, you know, he talks from experience. I, I love this book. Yes, it is for brick and mortar. However, with anything I do, if I learn something from a book from anywhere, I always say to myself, how could I take this? How could I take what I learned and apply it to my business, my business model, online business, to you guys? So, and, and by the way, it's not going to be that hard. There's plenty of things you could read from here that will absolutely can translate to what we're doing online because there's a lot of examples that relate to in person, absolutely see it. And sure, they're a multi-million dollar companies, so they have a lot more, you know, um, you know, they have a lot more wiggle room when it comes to making their customers happy, which is, you know, hug your customers. But that does not mean we as small businesses cannot. I talked about it in Facebook Live a uh, a while ago about some free or cheap ways to really you know bring on customer service and and if you are a fan of customer service okay you guys know who you are I am a fan this is a must read hug your customers okay a must read that's it you're gonna enjoy it the um, I got this in hard hard cover because I loved it so much this is how you know the test of you know the test of how much I love a book I got it on audible as well I mean, I don't have to show you, but I'll show you. <laughs> oh, shit. Why is it not? Why is it not loading? There it is. Okay. You'll see, obviously, other books right there. It's the orange one. Hug your customers, right? So I have them on both because I just think it's so great. One thing, here's a little quick um, fun fact about me. I have a weird memory. Very selective. So I'll read this book. Who the hell wrote in my book? Some somebody wrote my book. One of my kids. Anyway, um, oh, there's a bookmark in here. Oh my God, guys, guys, there's a bookmark in here that was from my old banker in Brooklyn, New York, Independence Bank. They're not even around anymore. 
last time I visited. Anyway, guys, this book will absolutely, again, $9, 10 I don't know how much it is, will absolutely give you, like, how do I say this? I have a hard time articulating things. You know how you buy my webinars, right? And you gain a lot of knowledge and you put the knowledge to use and you make money from it. You get that, right? You get that correlation. When you buy a book, the same, hopefully the same happens, okay? And when you buy this book, when you get this book, amongst other books I'm recommending, if you implement certain things, there will absolutely be a return on your investment. It will absolutely be worth way over the nine, 10 bucks or 13 bucks or whatever you're paying for this. I absolutely love his, um, his uh, approach to customer service. Sure, it's a little extreme. You don't have to be that extreme. Even if you get one thing, one idea from this book, I think it'll absolutely be worth it. I think books like this, guys, another recommendation about this book is it absolutely motivates you um, to do better. Um, so you know times like when you have your funks, ups and downs to work, you guys know it. Again, if you follow me, I, the last few days, I've been a mess. Like, long story for another time. The point is, you have the ups and downs, and regardless if it's sick related, because I was actually sick, um, it was very quick, but I was sick, or if it was motivation related, this will help the motivation related. On, you know, if you have that funk, this will help, okay? Um, so, you know, for those book fans out there, don't, don't, um, don't crucify me. Everybody's different. Every book lover is different. I have no problem marking up a book in a very particular manner. Um, you know, I don't mind putting sticky notes in there. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Cause I want to be able to refer back to something, you know, the only downside to using audible is that I can't, I mean, I can do that. I know I can, but I can't quickly skim and see what points I highlighted. So if you have no problem highlighting or putting post-it notes or what have you, I recommend you do so. But if, if you run into a really good idea you want to implement guys, and then you go back and do your thing, <clears throat> like back to work, not reading the book. You're easily you're easily able to skim like I dog ear certain things, you know, so I, I just think that this one is just a breath of fresh air. I think it's enjoyable. I think you will get um, a lot of great ideas from here. And again, it will motivate you. Um, so. OK, so I'll make sure I didn't miss any comments. OK, so this is hug your customers. I absolutely recommend it. Link is above. OK. So let me go into the next one. Next one is kind of like, like off kilter, like not really business related, but it can be, and I'll show you how. Um, I personally got it. Okay, my headband is ridiculous. Hold on. I have a big head, guys, now you know, and so headbands don't stay on me. In fact, somebody was on this call um, a few Facebook Lives ago and recommended um, a company for headbands that don't slip. If you were that person, can you write down below again? Because I lost, I lost it. Wait, I lost that paper. So if you remember that company name, please let me know. All right, so next book I recommend. Hold on, take a second of my coffee. All right, another New York Times bestseller, coincidentally, um, Grammar Girl's Quick and Dirty Tips for Better Writing. I'm not going to even try to say the name of this author, Mignon Fagardi. I can't say her name. It's a she. I know that. Obviously, Grammar Girls. Um, but I don't remember where I got the recommendation for this book. It wasn't like one of you guys or anything like that. But um, I honestly don't remember where I got the recommendation. But here's something personal you may or may not know about me. And you may. So go ahead and um, Maggie, you do. Let's talk because I have a challenge for you. My head takes non-slip headbands and they slip. Okay, like this one has like little grips underneath and they still slip. We'll talk. Message me a little bit later today, please, Maggie, because otherwise I won't remember because I'm busy. Okay, so... So here's a fun fact you don't know about me. Okay, let me leave this up so you guys can see it. Um, I suck at, I kind of suck at grammar. I was, not that it's relevant, but let me explain. I was born in America, 
one's American school. But isn't it always the case that most, you know, English speaking Americans or whatever don't always know proper grammar rules? And obviously I'm generalizing. It's not always the case. But um, I suck at it. You know, I'll admit something to you guys. You know, we, um, I, uh, I love you guys. Guys, please, um, if you don't mind, refrain from <laughs> posting um, your your shop uh, links in the comments. I will have to uh, delete the comment, but I wrote your shop name down, so thank you. Um, and yes, Maggie, please accept the challenge and message me as well. I really, I really do need it. I like now, not maybe not today, but I like how I look in headbands, um, and I need one. Anyway, back to this. I'm not, I'm not um, proud of this, but you guys are like my friends, so I hope you don't judge me. And if you're new around here, then then you just need to know and get with it that I'm going to treat you like a friend, so I'm going to be very honest with you, so hopefully you don't get the wrong impression of me. For a very long time, I did not know the difference between there and there, T-H-E-R-E -E and T-H-E-I-R, -E -E okay? Yeah, for a very long time until I said, enough, enough. I need to know the difference. So, um, so I figured it out and then there's a few more, by the way, there's one that I still can't understand. And I, and, and, and in her defense, I did not look it up in this book yet. I haven't opened this book in quite a long time. Um, but this book goes over things like that, the difference in spellings and how to, you know, if you're ever, if you're like me, you're like, I don't know the difference and I can't understand Google's translation of a difference. Like, I still don't get it. This is the book you need. Not only will it tell you the difference between those two types of words, but um, grammatically how to, you know, I'm also bad at this. I've been better, but I've, I'm bad. When to use a comma instead of a period. I know that sounds ridiculous. You know, when to use an exclamation point. Believe me. You know, and I'm not saying, guys, that we have to be perfect at grammar to, like, live our lives. But we are business owners, and that's how it relates to business. We're business owners. I talk to you guys. Um, you know, I think you may or may not catch a misspelling or two. Usually when I have a misspelling in our group, it's because I'm typing so fast. That's, listen, if you can judge me about that, then screw it, you know? But if it's a grammatical error, um, such as a period or a comma, yeah, it's, it's just because I don't know any better. And and nor do I care. I'm, I'm still getting by doing my thing, you know, um, pretty successful, I would say, without knowing it. But I know there are those grammar police out there in my group and even besides that it bothers me that I don't know the difference between certain things and the best part about this book it's so relatable I actually understand and the way she explains it okay um, so it's like when to use the word communicate instead of tell that's interesting I never thought of that um, and by the way, guys, from what I heard, there's no definitive, you know, um, grammar rules book. However, there's certain things that you you absolutely have to know, like there, there's the difference between there and there. There's, there's no way around it. But there's also people saying that, um, you know, ain't is not a word, but some people say it is. Like, you know, it's just, so I'm not saying this is a definitive book, but they'll certainly help you with certain things. I don't particularly know if this book is good for people that are, um, that have real, real trouble with English, like, like um, you know, like if you're not born here um, in America or English is not your first language and you really struggle with it, I'm not, I'm sure this will help you a little bit, but I'm not sure if this is the best book for you. I just know from me as an English speaker that like may versus might, like, I don't know, I just, I'm such a dork. I like this type of stuff. So if you find, would find interest in this, I would really recommend it because of the way she teaches it. Because of how, um, I don't know, relatable it is. I get it. I get it. And you guys know the way I teach my webinars. I'm very ADD. I'm very, like, step by step. And I feel like she is, like, my soul sister when it comes to teaching. She also has a podcast. Where is it? Just in case you guys are like not quite ready to buy the book, but I'm interested in grammar. Where is it? There it is. It's uh, the, the grammar, not the grammar girl podcast. I'm sure if you search for that, you'll find her podcast. Okay. Um, so I absolutely 
recommend this book simply for the fact that I suck at grammar and if you're going to stay around my group and you know benefit from the things I teach you just know that once in a while I'll have these grammar things that come out and I'm not good at it and um, don't judge me on it okay just don't because I have a lot to offer and if you judge me on grammar then you're really going to miss out I um, suck at it I don't know when to use a period over a comma etc and so forth yes I have to pick this book up again I did not finish the book granted um, and I think there's like an index where you could like you know there's index you could go and, and figure out like what you want to learn like periods versus commas and then jump to that section so I might have to do that but um, it's just one of my um, kryptonites I, I'm just not good at grammar and that's why I really love this book okay all right so let me um, go on to the next book okay Okay, I have, I have no idea how the back of my head looks like because I keep showing it to you guys. <laughs> okay, so this book is a little bit pricier. Actually, a lot pricier. I think it's like $21, $23. Two things. It's a heavy-duty book. Okay, it's large. Okay. Um, but also, it's by an author who has quite a following. So, I mean, and he knows what he's doing. He's, he's, he's in social media. Um, and he... Um, has quite a following he knows what he's talking about and he could charge this type of price in my opinion anyway so it's called jab 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 right hook okay um it's by gain uh, gary vaynerchuk okay hopefully you guys have heard of him i absolutely love him he is okay he's like the guy version of me i'm the girl version of him sort of let me explain in fact somebody told me that if somebody told me that I remind them of him and Marie For Forleo put together. So if Marie Forleo and Gary Vaynerchuk had a girl baby, it would be me. Okay. The point is, I love his style, and you'll see that if you don't follow him already. I love his style because, guys, I'm very honest with you. Sure, I don't curse every you know fifth word like he does. Um, sometimes I do, but I I refrain from it because I don't know who's watching around you, meaning your kids and stuff. Um, but I don't need to curse as much as he does. He's very honest, so am I. Sometimes I tell you how it is. I'm like, stop doing this. It's a waste of time. Do this. Like, he's very much my style. So if you like me, <laughs> I hope you like me. If you like me, you, you should you should get with him. He is um, he does daily vlogs and all this type of stuff, and I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, back to this book. This is how to tell your story in a noisy social world. So you might say, is this a how to use social media? Kind of. It is um, a, a briefing of how to use each social media platform. And it's one of those books, guys, that you kind of need to like to show you really great examples and why it was a successful campaign, why it wasn't. Okay. Um, so then if you're really good at reading between the lines, listen up. If you're really good at reading between the lines, this is a good book for you. If not, you still probably will enjoy the book, but then nice. won't get actionable advice, which, by the way, guys, books are not meant to be actionable advice. You're supposed to read between the lines and work on, you know, that really brilliant idea that you read in the book, etc. But this is really great if you don't have to read between the lines and start putting it into action. Now, in the defense of this book, okay, it was written... Where is it? I'm trying to find when the book was written. 2013. Okay? In his defense, social media, as you know, changes every minute. Okay? So while I do recommend this book, just know. It's a great read. It'll definitely provide you some insight into social media, especially if you're a newbie completely. If you like Gary Vaynerchuk, so all those things, if you uh, want some insight to social media because you're new at it, if you like Gary Vaynerchuk, okay, so this is also a fan book, right? So if you love him, you'll love this. Then I recommend getting it. Otherwise, not quite. You might say, why do you have a book recommendation you don't recommend getting? Because of social media always constantly changing, this is this things in here that are still relevant. Absolutely. Absolutely, but it's not full, meaning there's a lot more features on social media um, platforms that we currently use. And it, of course, it doesn't talk about it. I mean, because this is written in 2013. 
the issue with types of books like this is that, um, you know, it's not evergreen. It's not something that it has to continuously update. You know, does he plan on updating it? I don't know. Um, I don't know uh, if he plans to or when, but it, it goes over obviously quite a few social media platforms. Okay. Um, again, I don't consider Pinterest social media, but nonetheless, I, I recommend this book if you're like, you know what, I need, you know, um, a really good um, briefing on all social media platforms. And I need it to be given to me in a, in a Dahlia way where, you know, I don't bullshit around and I give it to you straight, easy to understand, then I recommend this, okay? Simple as that. Otherwise, just know that social media has changed in 2013 quite a bit. And while some things in here are definitely still relevant, he hasn't, you, you're not going to get the full extent of social media because it's hasn't been done yet. It's time he wrote this book. Okay. Got it. Michelle says she's madly in love with Gary Vee. I agree. There's a, a vlog with him and his dad. Such a great one. Oh, such a great one. Okay. So let me go on to the next book. Bum, ba, da, bum. Guys, if you've been around my group, you know I've recommended this book many times. Let me please explain why. Now, again, the books that I listed above are in, and I'm saying in order, are not particularly in any order, like the, the my most, you know, most recommended to least recommended. No, I just happen to um, say it in this way, you know, in this in this order. Sorry. This is one of my most highly recommended books. The Audible kind of sucks because the person that's reading it kind of sucks. Now that was mean. The voice I can't get with. You're more than welcome to go on Audible, okay, and go to this book, and then you could listen to an audio sample. If you're feeling the audio sample, you're still more than welcome to um, purchase the Audible, and if you end up hating his voice or even hating the book, Okay, you're able to go to Audible and say, hey, give me a refund and they'll give you your credit back and you can buy another book with it. Okay, so you don't lose anything if you want to try to do an Audible. Okay, you can, again, listen to the audio sample. If you hate the audio sample, then don't get the book on Audible. Um, but if you like the Audible sample, then go ahead and purchase it. And again, you're still covered just in case you're not quite um, happy with the Audible guy. So let's talk Blue Ocean Strategy. Let me tell you, okay, first of all, the subtitle is How to Create Uncontested Market Space and Make the Competition Irrelevant. Sounds like gold, right? Hold on. Sounds like gold. It kind of is. So I'm, I'm such a book nerd. Um, again, it's considered uh, a bestseller. Um, it's considered a bestseller on Amazon as well to this day. Um, you know, read the reviews. A lot of times when I'm not really quite sure of a book, like I'm telling you my reviews on here, which is great, but I'm recommending quite a few books. I don't know if you're going to go out and buy all those books. It doesn't matter. Of course, I don't expect people, expect people to do that. So if you're trying to select, like if, if out of this whole list, you're like, ah, three of the books I really want to listen, read immediately, but let me buy one at a time. Go ahead and read reviews. I mean, the re by the way, reviews guys are really selective because you just don't know the person's experience but it's good to kind of get some insight onto what's included in the book and what to expect what not to expect always read positive and negative reviews don't read the one star reviews usually they're just you know they're not as you know critical i would read like two or three star reviews um to see a lot of those people usually tend to um tell us in detail what they did not like about it etc the point is great book there's no doubt about it. It's not a particularly easy read, okay? Like I'll recommend a book in just a moment that's a little easier read, um, but it's certainly good for business. You know, we are not a monopoly on anything we do, right? I'm not the only one that sells stationery. I wish I was. Well, maybe not, but um, I like the competition. But nonetheless, we're not the only one that sells our type of product. So when we when we when it looks like we're selling the same things, okay? How do you stand out? Now, sure, you can say, well, Daya, I stand out because nobody has my design. I stand out because I have a certain method that nobody uses. Great, great. However, how I need you to solidify what that, what that is. What makes you different? What makes your competition irrelevant? Because what you do is something that you created that you, they don't do. This book helps you. 
it's not um, a step-by-step -step manual per se, similar to like my webinars. It's not. My webinars are like, we'll teach you step-by-step. -step. It's not. Like I said, all books, you have to read between the lines to gather. However, it does teach you some methods to help you, um, uh, to help you figure out, and it gives you great examples, to help you figure out how to um, come up with your own um, blue ocean strategy and how to make the competition irrelevant. How do you, another stationary designer or whatever you are, you know, have the same type of business, right, as other stationary designers, but do something different that makes you stand out? I hope I'm articulating it correctly. I This is one of my highly recommended books. Um, if you are in this business thing, you know, the business game, and for the long haul, like this is not something you just started. And by the way, no offense if you did, it's not a big deal. I just think that this is quite a read and quite a strategy to be doing. And so if, you're, if you've been doing this for six months or so, maybe it might not be right for you, but it may be just depending on where you are in your business and what you see for the growth. Um, it's important to understand how you stand out. It's important to understand what your value proposition is. It's important to understand how are you different from your competitors. While I do sell stationery like the other ones, what is quite different about my business? And this is an important read to help gain insight, to help you work at that, to figure out what that is. It's really important. And if you're standing here listening to this and say, why is it important? Then stop. So if you don't know why it's important, then what you've been doing this whole time? Meaning, you need to stand out from your competitors. You need to know that Sally, when she goes to shop, that when she's looking at your product versus the other competitor's product, how she, why is she going to pick yours over hers? And that's what happens online. They see a whole bunch of stuff. And so why is she going to pick yours? What makes, what makes her trust you? You know, guys, in the Google SEO webinar, I have that bonus um, course. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Websites that convert. It's similar to that. I have certain things in there that's going to help that customer learn to trust you and help them convert, okay? Um, this is all, but this guy's book, this book is a business staple, um, for, you know, understanding what your competitive edge is, understanding your value proposition. Okay. Um, yes, Michelle, I think Emith is great. I did not list it up above, but there's quite a few I didn't list up above. Um, but you're right. I absolutely love that. There's a lot of Michelle's here today. Did we not, did we not notice that? I keep saying Michelle, but they're different people. All right, so again, Blue Ocean Strategy, one of my highly recommended books, not an audible. I read this, I'm, I'm sure, at least twice, but because of my um, selective memory, sometimes, I don't know what it is about my memory. I, I can't, I haven't been ever diagnosed, but I tend to, like, uh, forget pieces, bits and pieces of it, and that's why I rewatch movies. I, I would literally rewatch movies. Guys, you know what me and my husband are doing recently? We're rewatching a TV show series. We have it on DVD. It's one of our favorite shows like absolutely favorite um and i rewatch it and it feels kind of new every time certainly i remember certain parts it's not you know i'm not completely like brain you know damaged um i love watching because i it feels new again i can't explain why i'm a lover if you love watching rewatching movies then you'll you'll understand me why I re, why, why i reread books okay um stacy's asking what show stacy don't you follow me on instagram <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I think you do actually. Um, it's Scrubs. We absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, moving on to the next book. <laughs> One second, guys. Ah, there it is. Bum, ba, da, bum. Oh, there's no, there's no cover here. <laughs> Okay, this one is called The Fred Factor. Obviously a very small book, almost the size of my hand. Um, so very, very easy read. In fact, if you have a moment, you can probably finish it in one day. Again, my kids have gotten to this book. I don't know if you see those colors on there. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not particularly one of those people that, like if you took a crayon and went in my book, if I could still read it, um, it's okay. It, it feels like, it feels like, history like there's a history to my kids writing my book i don't want them to write my book but when they do i'm not um crazy about it hold on a second i'm getting like notifications okay so it's called the fred factor easy read okay and um again i have the link above so is there like a little synopsis here because i'm trying to explain this book 
but again, sometimes I have a hard time articulating things. I don't know if you guys have been following me for a while. Sometimes you notice that, just how I am. Okay, well, let me explain to you. Fred is a mailman. Now, this is, this is based on a true story, but not his real name. His real name, I don't think, is Fred. Is a mailman, and um, he was a mailman to Mark Sanborn, which is the author. And um, Mark would travel often, and um, you know his mailbox would obviously get full, or whatever. So the mailman decided to take it upon himself to, you know, um, make sure to hide his mail properly or something, or hold on to it because he realized he was out of, you know, town. Um, so then no thieves would look at the mailbox and realize how full it is. And the mailbox meaning like, you know, those old school mailboxes when you look outside your home, you have that little like mailbox, that type. Um, so he would go kind of be above, above and beyond his job. And and this one, this book um, talks mainly about Fred and it's pretty much about customer service. But again, like an extreme, like, you know, Fred is a person, not just a kid about customer service, but wants to love his job and he does and this what this book there's one thing this book taught me personally is that a job is a job and for the most part in this world nobody like you know there's always gonna be bad parts to a job even your own even if you run your own business right we got don't even lie you know it when i used to work out in work land outside of my home um, sometimes not, things are not always fine and dandy. And what Fred reminds you of is, you know, there are ways to learn to love your job. And when you learn to like love your job and excel at it, like excel at it, don't just do your job. You know, he was a mailman. So you think, okay, how could, how could you even be better at being a mailman except delivering on time? There's many, many different ways. So he took his job and really took pride at it. And when you take pride on it, you be, I personally believe the context, um, become a happier person. You, I mean, influence the people around you. It's just really great. It's a really great read. It's a quick read. Again, it's probably like less than 10 bucks or something. Um, it's, it's motivating. Um, you know, it's seeing that, wow, so simple. He took his mailman job and look how he excelled at it. And I'm sure this mailman, Fred, okay. Um, real name obviously is not Fred, um, was a very happy person. And, and you, you, I think you guys know what I'm saying, right? Again, it's hard for me to articulate, but it's learning to enjoy um, the most simplest task, your job, parts of your job, and, and learning to excel at it, okay? And it talks about, it goes into a little more detail than what I'm saying. I see parts here that say the seven Bs of relationship building. That's interesting. So I think definitely think um, you'll learn a lot here regarding customer service and for your own personal life, I think, you know, um, certainly scrub was hilarious. I absolutely love it. Anyway, so really quick, this book I recommend because it's an easy read. Again, it's motivational, but it will still give you ideas um, personally, honestly, to better your life and your business. Okay. I can't say that about every book. This is one of them. Okay, so let me go over um, another one. Hold on a second. Okay, the other one, by the way, guys, I don't have the hard copy. Okay, I bought it on Audible, and I love it. It's called Hug Your Haters. Now, contrary to what you might think immediately, it's not by the same um, the uh, same author as hug your customers, okay, very different author, but it's essentially taking your haters in business, right, your customers that are unhappy or whatever, or real haters, and learning to turn that frown upside down, learning to learn from, you know, you know, the thing that they don't like about your company, um, and really embrace them, turn that frown upside down with them, and then learn from that experience. Um, Here's why I recommend this book and here's why I loved it. Um, we get reviews on online businesses and this is, they, they refer to reviews very often. And, you know, again, you don't have to read in between the lines too much. Hold on. Again, my headband is slipping. Story of my life. Oh, anyway, so if you, um, 
yes, your business, you have reviews, um, five star, four star, whatever. Oh, what time is it? Okay. And so I find this, I found this book really good as far as a manual, if you will. Um, I don't think to read between the lines too much, even though reviews for this book say that you do. No, you don't. It's, I mean, it's not a step by step again, similar to my webinars, but you can certainly see the things that has happened because they tell you then what action the author, whoever took, because he gives you examples of other people. So you can say, okay, how could I implement that in my business? If you want to, you don't have to implement everything. Um, it, again, it's about reviews and, and it shows you the a really great return on investment of investing in making those um, unhappy customers happy. Guys, you know, here's the thing. I recommend this book. Oh, I don't have it with me. It's an audible book. I recommend this book a while ago and some people loved it. And there was one person that said, Dali, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I don't like it. And I forgot why. I said, you don't have to be sorry. Everything's going to be different. Okay. Um, and I honestly forgot why she didn't like it. Um, she wrote why, but I think she wrote why. If you're on, if you're on this call, go ahead and say why. But I, um, I, I really liked it because again, it has to do with customer service. And if you if you can't guess, one of my blue ocean strategies is customer service. And I'm learning how to be even better and better at it. I'm not the best at it. Okay, no, no company can say they're the best at it, right? Technically, uh, but I'm nowhere near the best, and I'm still working on it. But um, that's why I love customer service books to help me implement something a different way. Because you know, I don't have all the manpower and the energy, whatever, to do it. But sometimes reading these books help me provide some insight on how I can even do it better in ways I didn't think of. Okay, that's why I recommend that book. All right, so let me go over a couple more um, things that I um, that I read. That I recommend. So I'm not sure if I could recommend this book. I enjoyed it. You know, I enjoy them, but that's you know, that's really it. Okay. Um, and I, I certainly think I could have gotten I gotten some things from it, but okay. So the Miracle Morning was a good book. Um, However, I found, and I, and you know what, do what you want, you know, I found that while his ideas are very awesome, I don't want to do it in the morning. I do it late in the day. So, um, and I don't do everything. And in my defense, well, actually in his defense, I didn't give it a good try. I, I, I woke up early and did the whole routine, but I didn't continue. And I forgot why I stopped. Oh, because, um, <laughs> such a dork I was starting it in the winter time and was it the winter time or the summer time either way when the early mornings are still dark and it was very scary to walk outside my neighborhood's very safe but I'm very paranoid so that's why I give up <laughs> I'm not proud of it but um yeah and there's much more to the book than what I'm saying um but that's that. Another book I read that I thought was good um, is The Happiness Project. I, I'm not saying I personally recommend it. I think for others it may be really good. I think, it, you know, it was interesting. The book goes every chapter, goes about, you know, every month where she did some stuff to make herself happier. She wasn't by far sad at all, but she wanted to be happier, you know. Um, it, could, it provided some good insight. Um, you know, I think it's a big, it's a big, this book is really big on in my opinion, on um, appreciating what you have um, and then also learning how to like live with what you don't but make the best out of it. That's why I feel like I got out of it. So I'm not saying I didn't get anything out of it. I just, it's not a reread for me. I get the book. I loved it. I think it's good. Let me move on. Okay. Um... Mm, I didn't like that one. So I'm reading a couple of personal books, and so I, I would be happy to um, mention those to you since we're toward the end of the Facebook Live. Um, one of them is uh, Bringing Up Bebe. Bebe? Baby? Bebe? <laughs> I can't say it. It's a French word for baby. Bringing Up Bebe. Bebe. I don't know. Whatever. Um, now, I'm, I don't plan on having another kid, so... That's let me let me squash that rumor immediately. But I do like learning different styles of um, 
you know, raising kids and things like that. Just very interesting. And obviously it's about the French way of parenting. Um, I learned a few good things in there and I, I would definitely reread it. I would definitely reread it. So if you're interested in, you know, I, I take raising kids fairly seriously, not very seriously, but fairly seriously. Um, and uh, not like I'm a strict parent, but there's certain things that um, I highly believe in when it comes to raising kids. Um, you know, just... We're not going to discuss that here because it's not what this, this is a business group. But um, anyway, I really enjoyed it because it kind of gave me some ideas and, you know, took some of my methods and kind of refined them. I don't know. Again, just a personal book. Um, so so yeah, there's a couple more that I just don't want to mention here because it's kind of personal. I will mention them in my vlog. I'll be having a vlog very soon that matches this. I'm talking about a couple of uh, book recommendations. Um, it's probably going to be like in a week or two as I'm waiting for a book I just ordered, a hardcover book. Um, well, not hardcover, but a hard copy book coming in the mail soon. Um, but I'll be talking about that very soon. But I have to read it first before I talk about it, obviously. Um, I like to get book recommendations. Um, so I follow a few people, obviously, on Instagram. And I follow somebody on Instagram stories, and they recommended a book trying to get the screenshot really quick so I could mention it to you guys. I have not read it, so I'm not going to recommend it personally, but, um, hold on. Um, I can't recommend it personally, but I could tell you that I really highly look like I look at this person very highly and if they recommend a read to me, It'd be smart of me to consider it. So the first book they um, recommended is Mastin Kipps. That's the author. Mastin Kipp, M-A-S-T-I-N. Last name is Kipp, K-I-P-P. -P. It's called Claim Your Power. And it's a 40-day journey to dissolve the hidden blocks that keep you stuck and finally thrive in your life's, in your life's unique purpose. Kind of reminds me of You Are a Badass. That's why I decided to screenshot this. Okay. The next book, the last and next book that I uh, got recommended to, which is really important for me, I would say, because again, I have a hard time articulating things. Have anybody noticed? Can somebody, can somebody, um, can somebody tell me down below and be honest? Have you noticed? Just say yes or no. Have you noticed I have a hard time articulating what I feel, what I want to say? Tell me, more than the average Joe, right? Let me know yes or no. I'm interested to see if people notice or is it all in my head. I'm sure it's not in my head. I know it's me. Um, but I wanted to know if you guys caught on. Let me know yes or no down below. Okay, so this book is why I was interested in this. It's, it's called, it's by Bill uh, McGowan, M-C-G-O-W-A-N, and then you know how to spell Bill. Um, it's called Pitch Perfect, How to Say It Right the First Time Every Time. So it's like a really good tra training when, because obviously I'm on camera a lot, um, Facebook Lives, vlogs, podcasts, whatever I do. And, you know, I think I do okay job. I think I do a fine job. I think the beauty of me doing these Facebook Lives, I don't have to be perfect. It's fine. But sometimes I have a hard time articulating what I feel and getting things out. And I don't know, I'm going to give this a shot. It's recommended by somebody who's really good at, um, you know, being in the media. So, and that's why they recommended it because it helped them be better. Obviously being on camera a lot, etc. So I'm going to probably very, I have so much books I want to read, right? Right. Book problems, guys. I think I might be getting this book very soon to see what I feel about it. And I'll let you guys know. And I'm not sure if it's going to be relevant for you, um, you know, but maybe in your personal life, you know, um, if you have a hard time articulating things or, um, getting things out, you know, one second. Oops, you got it. yeah, that's fine. Is it in black ink? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, guys. So, um, I'd like to know your podcast and YouTube recommendations. Okay, Stacey, maybe, um, well, um, I don't listen to that many um, in YouTube, but I'd be happy to, um, 
uh, probably mention it in a vlog. It'll just be easier um, to do. Guys, if you keep wondering, like, what vlog is she talking about? Go to YouTube, follow me on YouTube, um, subscribe to my channel. Um, the easiest way to get there is to go to YouTube and search for The Handmade Mastermind. Boom, you'll see me. Um, or just go to bit.ly slash Dahlia YouTube. Okay? Um, you articulate better than most. Carolyn. Ah, uh, thank you. Um, I don't personally uh, believe that, so thank you. That's interesting. Paula, I think you do struggle to articulate, but do get there, and the point is usually very valid. Okay, I see what you're saying, Paula. Um, I do agree with that. I think the reason why I eventually get there is because I feel comfortable with you guys, so I don't feel like uh, I just, you know, I just messed up. I figure out a way to get there, and that's it. But I do have trouble articulating. You are very relatable. Don't lose that. Well, yeah, I, I think Stacy makes a good point as well. I think it works for me that I, I don't know how to articulate sometimes because I um. I'm just human, you know, so I don't plan on being like a robot, you know, um, when it comes to articulating, but sometimes I get frustrated when I can't get a point across, and sometimes it does happen, and I figure out a different way, um, and it's not just here, guys, it's in general, my personal life, so, you know. Okay, guys, I am going to wrap up this Facebook Live. Today's Friday. I'm so excited. Now, let me mention a couple things for you. One, I won't be here Monday. This time, I will actually be on a trip with my sister. She has a very important retail meeting she's going to probably get into a very very large retailer very large like almost like if she gets in it her life will change sort of thing almost like if she gets in it she could well i won't work for her but you, you get the idea right um so i'm very excited for her um somebody requested me to do a video on how she got to her success and all that stuff and i plan on doing um a vlog next week after the meeting so the meetings might probably do it on tuesday however my vlogs will be a week out so this week i did not post vlogs because i've been doing them but i'm not posting them they'll be a week later so monday you'll see the vlog from this past monday does that make sense so weekly the point is you'll see that next tuesday okay not this coming tuesday okay um so again i won't be here on facebook live i will be vlogging during our trip so that that vlog will be up the week after um i'll remind people on twitter so if you're not following me on twitter and you want to follow me because you want to know when i'm coming on facebook live follow me on twitter i'm at dahlia mastermind that's how you're gonna find me dahlia mastermind um the handmade mastermind wouldn't fit so it's dahlia mastermind um make sure you hit the alerts button so you could see exactly when i get on so you don't miss it um what else that's it. I'm excited. It's Friday. I have a lot of work to do today, as usual. Um, but I'm happy to say that, and this is uh, if you're still around, if you have the Amazon webinar, I'm in the midst of redoing it. Yesterday, some pieces were recorded. Hooray! Um, I won't be working on it today. Uh, I have to get some things done before the weekend. I'll be back at it on Tuesday, recording, recording, recording. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's probably going to launch at the end of this month, okay, which I'm very excited about um, because it needs an upgrade, right? Amazon has changed a little bit and things like that, so it definitely needs an upgrade, all right? Okay, guys, I will let you guys go again. If you're interested in any book I um, mentioned during this Facebook Live, all the books are up above, listed for you and linked, um, so I can make it you can make it easy on you. Um, I personally, um, I have a lot of books, obviously, but I listen to Audible, so if you have less time, I recommend getting into Audible. I think they give you a month free trial, I think. Yeah, I'm sure they do. And the best part about it is if you get a book you don't quite like, the return policy is great. Because I know I didn't like the book, and this is why, boom, they give you back your credit, you know, and you could use a credit toward another book. I probably have to only do that once or twice, I think, because some were just, I was not with it, you know? It just was not working. Um, and that's it, guys. Okay, okay, guys, I will see you on Tuesday. Um, but if you want to follow, by the way, guys, if you want to follow my, my, me and my sister's trip, and that sounds dorky, but it's, it's a business trip, so you might want to, you might be interested in it. Follow me on Instagram. So I'll be posting on Instagram stories, okay, regularly during that trip, okay? Um, and you may, you may even see the name of the big retailer during um, one of my Instagram stories. Okay, guys, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you later.
Bye.